When you think about organizations such as the YWCA and the fact that it has been here in Boulder County for over a hundred years, I mean that's at least ten generations of women and children that we have helped grow, find confidence, be able to be there as a support network. Because look, nobody gets here by themselves. There's this idea of like, we want to help and we see that this is harder for you than it is for other people. So what can we do? What policies can we put in place? What resources can we offer? What ideas can we bring up to politicians? And the why is one of those organizations that says something should be done, something should be spoken, something should be illuminated here about how women are treated, about how people of different races are treated. Women do things differently. The thing that I love about women as a whole is I think that for the most part, women find win-win situations. They know how to bring people together. They know how to work toward a goal that's outside of an individual goal, but something that's better and collective for the whole community. We're the ones who are leading movements, caring for and thinking about future generations. We need to hear what they perceive their challenges to be where they think we can help support them and encourage them, where we can open doors that we didn't realize still needed to be open. And I think that's probably the role the YWCA has to be playing right now, is making sure that we're providing a platform, a space for celebration, and an area and space for people to grow and learn and lead. The number of things that they support over the course of the work that they do is phenomenal. When you think about early childhood, you think about racial equity, you think about, again, empowering young women to be able to step into a workforce and have the skill sets to do that. The programs could not be more meaningful. Well, the goal of Persimmon Early Learning is to provide the highest quality early education from infancy to pre-kindergarten for children. I own Barris Laser and Skin Care, which is a spa in Boulder, and I have two kids. When they were young, I would bring them to the Y for daycare as I was getting my business going. Everyone who worked there was so wonderful and kind and didn't make me feel bad about walking in and needing help. Knowing that they were gonna be safe and well cared for while I was off trying to get things done was really huge. Our STEM program is incredible. You're creating pathways to rewarding careers, both mentally and emotionally, because it's fun and you're doing something that's challenging and exciting, but also financially. We went to Seagate, and most of the things was about hard drives. And we disassembled hard drives. We saw how they were made. We saw that they smashed them to test them. Dismantling the hard drive was really, 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 really fun. I did really good and it's my favorite part because I like doing stuff with tools. We stop a whole lot of girls from turning away in part because they didn't know and, or they didn't feel included or they didn't see themselves. And now they can be part of our program. They're mentored by women engineers, coders from companies around town and they say, wow, I could be like her. That makes all the difference. So Young Women Plus Achievement is an advocacy program that works to bridge the opportunities when it comes to academic and personal goals. YWCA supports and really looking at how to give voice, elevate and challenge Latinas in our own Boulder County community to find their own voices and to look for career paths where maybe they haven't seen themselves represented. I started working for a volunteer program called Reading to End Racism. And at one point, the Y decided to accept us as part of their programming. But it's all to get them talking about what's life like in a world of children where we don't always treat each other as we would like to be treated. The most important thing is to talk to them and have them talk to us and each other about racism, about bullying, about acceptance. Most of them are ready to, if you give them half a chance, to talk with each other. We started to get to know each other beneath the initial kind of difference. And they tell their stories and stories of their sisters where they weren't treated well. When they get in touch with their own feelings of not being deeply respected or, or belonging, then there's much more compassion for the next person. 
for women especially, there just aren't that many organizations that understand who we are and who are focused on what women need in order to grow themselves and to take care of their families at the same time. So when you think about that type of work, there's just nothing more important to society that we can do than to support these types of organizations to make sure that the next generation is as equally as cared for, mentored, and feels like they belong. This luncheon is such an incredible way for us not only to celebrate women and lift up those, these incredible people around us and what they're doing in our community and for us personally, it's also a way for us to contribute and invest in this continued work that we need to do to make sure that not only today, but for the generations that follow are supported and achieving and able to reach their dreams as well.